most cringeworthy moment, and there is, there's more, came from Bill Clinton himself. I know you're surprised. Here's what he said about his affair with Monica Lewinsky. You feel like you're staggering around. And you've been in a 15-round prize fight that was extended to 30 rounds. And here's something will take your mind off of it for a oh, while. Wow. That's what happens. Everybody's life has pressures and disappointments and terrors, fears of whatever things I did to manage my anxieties for years. Wow, right? It just never ends. Joining me now is a woman you know, Juanita Broderick, one of Bill Clinton's accusers. You know, it's fascinating, Juanita. Thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. In 2004, when he was promoting his biography, he said the reason that he had that affair with Monica Lewinsky and did what he did was because he could. Now, I'm going to believe that answer, right, as opposed to this one. And, you know, and even if we were to believe him that he used a woman like a product in some way to manage his anxiety is in and of itself horrific. But he sounds almost as though he's, he's making an excuse that he thinks people are going to appreciate. Oh, I know. I, when I first heard about that, Tammy, I tweeted, I said, what in heaven's name is going on? You know, will the next episode talk about the women that he raped, the, rim, the women that he sexually assaulted? Where can they possibly go from here? Uh, I, I, I was astounded. Yeah, and see, this, I think what's interesting, too, is there may be now a category of voters, some younger people, who might not even really know the details of his history. It's almost presented as though the Monica Lewinsky dynamic. And look, I've seen interviews with her. She's a bright woman. Her life, of course, has been changed forever because of this. But it, it's almost as though he's trying to find a new woke excuse. Because it's, yeah. you know, whatever it is, if, if you're a victim in some way or if you were acting out, then you're going to get a pass on this. But uh, do you think, Juanita, that with, with you know, look, are these things that they really want to remind the American people about. You've been having to deal with this for so long. Oh. Do you think this is going to be helpful to them, or do you think it will hurt them? No, I think people will be absolutely shocked. And, you know, I think about all the women that are really right here sitting in this chair with me tonight. I think about Kathy Shelton, the young 12-year-old that was horrifically raped and in a coma for almost a month. And Hillary uh, provided... Uh, assistance to the rapist and got him off. I think about Kathleen Willey. Mm -hmm. I think about Paula Jones. I think about Leslie Milwee. All of us. These were sexual attacks and rapes now, long Juanita, before Monica Lewinsky here, here, I ever want, came I want along. you and, and our viewers to hear a little bit more about what Bill said about uh, what happened to uh, Miss Lewinsky after everything came out. Take a listen to this. Yeah. I feel terrible about the fact that Monica Lewinsky's life was defined by it, unfairly, I think. You know, over the years, I've watched her trying to get a normal life back again. Yeah, you know, it's still no real apology. He feels bad about that. Do you, do you think he feels the same uh, about you? Oh, he doesn't feel bad about any of this. He just wants sympathy from people. And, and, and he didn't write this. Let me tell you who wrote this. Hillary wrote this. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want him to go anywhere near that there might have been feelings for Monica Lewinsky. She was just a toy. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, Juanita, it's when it comes to the human condition, and so many women have had, of course, an experience of either sexual harassment of, or sexual violence, the reminder of this, uh, and also trying to escape the Me Too movement, but it's a remarkable thing that this is something that, that both of them would feel comfortable reminding people of and parading back out as though this is somehow th their claim to fame or they still have absolutely no problem in so many ways when it comes to the lives that they've impacted. It, it does seem, though, to be an effort to remake uh, themselves or to uh, at least tell a new generation that they're not to be blamed for anything. Yeah, I, you know, to me, it was absolutely unreal when I heard about it, that Hulu oh. could support this low-life sexual predator and come out with this nonsense. It was a very disgusting and despicable thing well, to the, me. Well, the, the good news is, Juanita, we're reminded all the time about what not yeah. to become. That's what they've provided to us. Thank you for joining me yes. tonight. I appreciate it.